Good morning, I'm Councillor Glenn, and today is Saturday, March 30th, and this morning I'm at the Echo Woods Stormwater Pond, which is just off of Lloyd Alex. Uh, I guess I'm, I'm, uh, I've got the, the water tower, the iconic water tower there in the background this morning. Um, all right, a few updates, not too many this week, but uh, a big one, uh, you may have heard there's a new deal between the province of Ontario and the city of Ottawa. Uh, this is really good news. Um, Mayor Sutcliffe and Premier Ford have been negotiating this for the past few months. And uh, basically it means from the province of over half a billion dollars coming to the city of Ottawa in operating and capital investments over the next 10 years. Uh, I'm still trying to parse out all the details to this and I'll probably post something later this week, but um, uh, it, it's a transfer of responsibility for some things, like out in the uh, East End, Highway 174 is currently a municipal highway. It's going to be transferred to the province to maintain, so that means several million dollars a year in savings for the City of Ottawa. Uh, there's some money from the provincial government for uh, policing and safety, in particular downtown, where, as many of you know, we're having a lot of issues. There's some infrastructure money as well uh, that we can put towards uh, roads and other uh, and transit and uh, uh, water and sewer and other infrastructure to support growth. Uh, there's potentially some money for a Canada North transit way. Uh, so anyway, I'll, I'll post something later this week once I've been able to work through some of the details, but uh, this is a, a good deal for the city of Ottawa. Um, basically, cities are taking on more and more responsibilities. We have more and more pressures on our budget for a whole number of reasons. Uh, residential growth, uh, issues around crime and safety, issues around um, uh, homelessness and so on. So uh, we, we are limited in the tools we have to collect revenue. Property taxes were never meant for, for many of these uh, challenges we're having. So it's good to have some uh, support from the province in that. Turning to something more local, um, I want to say a big thank you to Staff Sergeant Chris Sturgeon uh, for Tuesday night's OPP anti-fraud seminar. Uh, we had about 70 people out to Cardell Rec to listen to the, the presentation. Um, Sergeant, Staff Sergeant Sturgeon is a Stitzel resident, so that's a nice bonus, I didn't realize that. But uh, some really good tips about how to protect yourself or prevent uh, online scams, phone scams, things like that. Um, I've shared a thing on our website at glengower.ca. Uh, some tips from Ottawa Police, actually, on, uh, on keeping yourself safe from fraud and, and scams. So check that out if you're interested. Also on my website, uh, you'll find some information about a new survey the city's doing about our tree planting programs. We are updating all of those policies and programs, so there's a survey online. And uh, you can find information about Easter weekend schedule changes. And a reminder that next week's garbage pickup and recycling and green bin is delayed by a day the whole week because of the holiday Monday. And uh, uh, there's also a thing I posted there about growth. The number of homes per decade that have been built here in Stittsville and neighborhood by neighborhood when those neighborhoods were built. So a bit of history, a bit of, uh, a bit of demographics. Uh, check that out on my website as well. Coming up this week, uh, we have a counselor chat on Wednesday evening at Cardell Rec. And on April the 9th, we have our development information meeting for 1174 CARP road. On April the 10th, the uh, Stittsville Canada Kiwanis Club is doing an open house at the Stittsville Youth Centre. Free pizza. Uh, drop by and check it out. Uh, that's at Frederick Banting School and I believe the open house is from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. but I'll make sure we get that posted to our website. And of course a reminder uh, to register for cleaning the capital so you can get a group of friends or neighbors or co-workers together and uh, and sign up for a local park or stormwater area if you'd like and uh, register to help clean the capital uh, last year we had more participants than any community anywhere else in the city so i hope we can repeat that this year here in spitzville and thank you to everyone who's already signed up i noticed there's a few happening this week so that's amazing hey if you um if you do a cleanup with your group snap a photo and send it to me email it to me we're trying to compile uh, a lot of photos from the cleanups three things to close off 
maybe four things. Uh, first of all, just a shout out, a hello to Scott Phelan. Scott is our local school board trustee for the Catholic School Board. Uh, Scott's been going through some pretty serious health challenges. So I'm glad to hear, Scott, that you're uh, back up and about and on the mend. And I hope you're feeling 100% soon. Um, I want to say a big congratulations to Talk, also known as Nick DeRoche. Nick, uh, or Talk, grew up here in Stittsville and won a Juno Award for Breakthrough Artist on the weekend <clears throat> last Sunday. Now, I also found out his brother Ben, Ben DeRoche, won an Emmy Award, a date, uh, an Emmy Award this year, his second Emmy Award, and he works with, uh, with the Muppets on shows like Sesame Street and uh, Fraggle Rock, so that's pretty cool. Congrats to Ben and Nick slash talk and uh, some pretty creative people coming out of Stittsville here. Uh, a reminder about bike safety, with the snow gone and the weather getting warmer, there are more and more people out on their bikes. So if you are a motorist, a driver, uh, please give them lots of room and, uh, and uh, stop at stop signs, obey the speed limit, all those things uh, to keep everybody safe. And cyclists, if you're out there, remember to have a, a working bell on your bike and give way to pedestrians. And finally, happy Easter. Hope everybody is having a great long weekend. Uh, however you may be celebrating or commemorating this weekend, uh, I'm going to be heading off soon to Crossing Bridge where there's a community Easter egg hunt planned. I, I, you had to register in advance though, so if you haven't signed up, um, don't show up because uh, they, they want to make sure they have enough goodies for everybody there. So anyways, have a great long weekend. <coughs> Excuse me. Have a great long weekend and uh, I'll talk to you here next Saturday. Take care.